Hi, my name is Janet Raffner, and I'm a PhD student at the Center for Hybrid Intelligence, which is located at the Department of Management at Aarhus University in Aarhus, Denmark. Today, I'm presenting my graduate symposium paper entitled Creativity Assessment Games and Crowdsourcing. This paper presents my initial PhD work focusing on designing CREA, a suite of freely accessible digital games and tasks to understand and assess creativity. The aims of this presentation are to provide background as to why I'm developing this suite of games, to demo the games, and to outline open questions for development and data analysis. And I'll do this through slides as well as videos of the gameplay. Digital game-based creativity assessments are fruitful yet underexplored grounds in HCI research, and thus this work is very relevant for the creativity and cognition community. In, in contrast to traditional testing, game-based creativity assessments capture more natural behavior, characterize fine-grained steps, allow for broader sampling, and are more motivating, which can induce a flow state. Games can also help reduce testing fatigue, especially when, corresponding, when responding to a recent call for the adoption of a comprehensive portfolio-based approach in creativity assessment. However, to the best of my knowledge, no projects have brought together several games and tests into one suite. And thus, that is the focus of my study. The key terminology I use is creativity, defined as novelty and value, divergent thinking, the ability to come up with multiple solutions or alternative approaches, and convergent thinking, the ability to converge on a right appropriate solution. CREA consists of four components and utilizes self-assessment, crowdsourced, peer assessment, and stealth assessment for assessing creativity. I will briefly demonstrate each of these components now. Tiles consists of 10 tiles that can be moved around one at a time. The divergent thinking mode has three levels. Players are instructed to create and save at least five different dog, digit, or animal-like shapes within four minutes for each level. At the end of each level, the participants can see the shapes they have saved in their personal gallery. After completing three tasks, players view two shapes at a time and rate on a five-point Likert scale how similar the two shapes are. In the convergent thinking mode, players are presented with the target figure and four possible starting figures. The object is to select the best starting shape and rearrange it into the target shape in the fewest possible number of steps. There is only one best choice. Participants have 30 seconds to choose a starting shape and one minute to recreate the target shape. In the free play mode, players are instructed to make the most creative shapes you can think of and save at least five different shapes. Finally, they are, they are shown two pairs of figures uh, side by side and asked to pick the most creative ones. Blender has a similar structure to tiles, however players blend multiple images together in order to get new interesting compositions. How much each image should contribute to the resulting picture is up to the players. Each image's weight can be adjusted using the slider next to the image. Blender uses a generative adversarial network, or a GAN, which is the most widely used type of machine learning model for image generation. CREA Ideas is a digital version of Gulliver's alternative use test. Players are instructed to list as many alternative uses for the object shown as you can before time runs out. After players finish the task, they're presented with the ideas of other players and asked whether they can imagine using the given object in the suggested way. Logic is a tool for assessing abstract reasoning. Players are presented with three by three matrices containing abstract shapes in each cell except for one, and they have to choose the missing one by figuring out the relationships across the provided shapes. The items can vary in color, size, position, and shape, and the combination of these. And the matrices vary in difficulty based on the amount of dimensions changing. Players have eight minutes to solve as many puzzles as they can. Some open questions that I still have for this research includes what type of gamification features I should include to increase player engagement without compromising the integrity of the research? How should I incorporate more collaborative elements, for example, opportunities to build off other participants' submissions? 
If and how I should enable individuals to tag their creations, in other words, give titles to products. And which metrics should I use for flexibility, fluency, and originality in Create Blender, tiles, and ideas, as well as which techniques, such as clustering or semantic algorithms. Thank you very much for your attention.